So the truth is, our organization was a big mistake. <laughs> um, we had no intentions of ever having an organization. We were four people who didn't even know each other, introduced to each other through a mutual friend, and he said, hey, you guys are all about starting companies, y'all are women, y'all should just do something. We are like, okay. And literally, he worked at Facebook at the time, so he rented up, or he just you know, blocked up a conference room for us, threw us in a room and said, do something. And we said, okay, we'll do Women 2.0. And all we did was come up with a name. Mm -hmm. And we said, we just want more women founders. We want to meet women founders. We want to start our own company. So what do we do? We'll hold an event. We had a single event. And we thought, okay, maybe we'll it do always it. always starts with a party, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and 100 people showed up. It was at AOL. And we had a number of investors show up. And the panel was just sort of like this, all female founders. And we kind of walked away feeling really good. We thought, oh, that feels great. You know, we, we sort of enabled a group of women for the first time to meet each other. Um, and you know, really learn about what it's like to start a startup, and walked away. And, and were these all like Harvard MBA women who you know were doing the startup thing? No, no, it, not you know, at all. It was, a, it was a, a big mix. I mean, there was a you know an ex artist who had you know started some design firm, and people who run Bebo, uh, sorry, Mebo, for example, and just startups that still exist today, and some of them that yeah. don't exist today. Um, but it didn't matter. They were founders. That's all we wanted. And the organization's all about. And literally two weeks later, we got a call from the Santa Clara County. Hey, we're having this uh, you know, conference on um, women leaders. We'd like for you to come. 6 a.m. in San Jose. Okay. So, you know, we got there, you know, not very awake. And uh, by the end of the conference, we were awarded in front of 500 people, you know, awards for, for, for supporting young women entrepreneurs. And we literally had nothing right. We had done one event. So we walked out, looked at each other, and said, so now what? OK, should we meet next week? <laughs> you know? And you know, things kind of snowballed from there. So you know, the original intent was to just meet more women founders. And from that evolved an organization that now has 10,000 people on the mailing list, over 20,000 across all social networks. And it keeps going and going. We have hundreds of startups coming through um, our, our program called Pitch, and some getting funding, some getting funding just last weekend. So change is happening, and that's all that matters. So we're running with it. Uh, again, no plans, and every day, you know, things change. How much of your time does it take? I don't even want to count it, <laughs> <laughs> because I, we don't get paid, yeah. right? So we do this because we care. Uh, Emily's here, she's taping because she cares. She has a job in the day, I have a job in the day. And uh, I'm, everyone asks me, and I actually don't want to know, mm -hmm. because it's way too much. And we don't, you know, we all work till 2 o'clock in the morning, we're all online together, and you know, thank God for chat, and email, and God knows what. So uh, I'm not going to answer that because my <laughs> clients would not be thrilled. And virtual assistants. And, and I, I now have a virtual yeah. because I'm so overwhelmed yeah. and can't book my own flights or I have sandwich meetings and I use that source. Um, oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>